a solid. And this toxic substance might be lurking inside you already. So, what would happen if you swallowed liquid mercury? Could too much mercury alter your brain chemistry? Or would it cleanse your system? And what foods contain the highest amount of mercury? and Clark set off to map 12,900 kilometers of land bought from the French government. And if you wanted to retrace their route, you could use a metal detector instead of a map. Since these two guys ate nothing but dried meat and whiskey, they supplemented their diets with a laxative laced with mercury chloride. This pill, known as Calomel, contained a high dose of mercury and gave this duo extreme diarrhea, which they called Thunderclass. Hundreds of years later, archaeologists still find high amounts of mercury in the soil where their campsites used to be. Marketed as a cure for everything, people thought this popular drug treated illnesses from syphilis to constipation. Mercury! I need a Come on! You could say it was cleaning out their systems thoroughly. But did this wonder drug do more harm than good? There are three different types of mercury called elemental, organic, and inorganic. You're probably most familiar with elemental mercury. That's what you find in thermometers, electrical switches, and even dental fillings. Depending on where you live, you might have already had a small dose with your dinner. Microorganisms living on the ocean floor absorb and break down inorganic mercury compounds floating in the sea. And when larger fish like mackerel, swordfish, or tuna eat these creatures, they contain trace amounts of the toxic metal. Yeah, binging out at the sushi bar could give you a slight case of mercury poisoning. But if you chug this liquid metal like a shot, what would happen to your organs? Well, in its liquid form, mercury is insoluble, meaning it can't break down further. As this metal passes through your body, only 0.1% of it would remain in your system. The rest would flush right out. And on its way through you, it would kill bacteria and violently clean out your intestines. But if this substance remained in your bloodstream, the toxic effects would begin to destroy your body. If you kept ingesting liquid mercury, it could build up in your appendix. Over time, the bacteria in your body would convert this metal into organic mercury compounds. And then, the real toxic effects would kick in. Once the liquid crosses the blood-brain barrier, it could end up inside your brain, causing severe neurological issues. This would lead to chronic conditions like ALS, Parkinson's disease, or even Alzheimer's disease. And excess mercury could impact the hardest working muscle in your body, your heart. Ingesting too much liquid mercury could cause your heart to grow and the tissue to thicken. Your blood flow would slow and your cardiovascular system could be in danger of shutting down. This metal could even impair your kidney functions and lead to renal cancer. Now, while liquid mercury could tear you apart physically and mentally, it still wouldn't be as dangerous as if you breathed it in. Liquid mercury vaporizes at room temperature. 
while consuming this metal can damage your body over time, inhaling mercury can lead to instant damage. These tiny invisible atoms have no scent and they break down in fats and oils. Once inside your lungs, mercury can poison your brain, causing sleep disorders and even paralysis. And unlike water vapor, this form of since most of it exits your body, but inhaling the vapor from the buildup of this toxin could create damage that lasts a lifetime. So hold off breaking open that thermometer.